A federal agent is recovering in the hospital after falling three stories during an undercover operation on the West Bank. And Maddie Kurth joins us now with this story. Lauren and Lee, federal FBI agents, state police, NOPD officers, canines, all part of the very active scene at the Jackson's Landing apartment complex just after 2.30 this afternoon. Nine arrests were made in a federal undercover investigation, and though one agent was injured, the suspects were brought down with zero gunfire exchanged. By the time dozens of kids were getting off the bus at the Jackson's Landing Apartments in Algiers, the complex was already roped off with police tape, residents recording the scene on their phones. ATF's primary mission is to prevent, reduce, and solve violent gun crime, and we're doing just that this afternoon in this community today. Special Agent Joshua Jackson with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives says one of his agents was rushed to University Medical Center during an undercover operation involving violent gun crime. It was a fall from a third story uh, uh, platform, but as you can imagine, several type of injuries you can have from something like that. The undercover agent was not immediately identified, nor has the ATF provided an update on his condition. Jackson says while conducting the operation, several suspects attempted to rob the agent at gunpoint. Our investigators responded to rescue our undercover agent, and we took several people in custody. Nine people were arrested. Loved ones of those suspects were seen crying for them as they sat in the back of police cruisers. And beyond the fall, no other injuries were reported and no gunfire was exchanged. Obviously, we run these risks. We understand these risks. Uh, the investigation is not over with. As far as it being successful, um, we're making strides to help protect the community and make it safer. The ATF did not disclose what was recovered from the operation, citing the ongoing nature of the federal investigation.